What's up guys, Enrique here. Uh, I'm, tr I'm fiddling with this problem for so long and I kind of mess. Uh, it took me so long to find this problem I felt uh, I needed to post a quick video on it because I'm sure a lot of people have the same issue. Um, so I, that's why the quality of this vid is so crappy. Uh, so anyways, I have a Wacom tablet connected to my computer. It's a pressure sensi sensitivity tablet. Uh, I have a Cintiq. Uh, I'm using kind of as a normal tablet right now. And uh, I'm using it with Adobe Illustrator, CS5. Now, the thing about this is these are all flat. There's no pressure sensitivity. There's no thin to thick line, like you know, that you know that I have in uh, Photoshop. So, what happened was I had to make a few adjustments, and I finally figured out how to do it. So, first thing you have to do is I'm not going to show you this, but uh, hopefully you know, I'm running Windows 7 go uninstall uh, your Wacom settings all your Wacom drivers just totally uninstall it that's the first thing you do and after that you have to install go to the Wacom website and look for the drivers to the type of uh, to the type of Wacom you have I'm not gonna really show you how to do that because you should kinda know um, but if you wanna see it real quick let me bring it up boom data insights you can you can just type in uh, Wacom drivers, and the first option should be it should be Wacom.com, and it brings you right to this screen, and you should be able to you know come up with the type and the version you know whatever uh, operating system you're running, and it, it'll give you something to download. You download that, install it. Uh, but the other one needs to be uninstalled for this to really work. You have to uninstall your old uh, drivers. Anyways, after that, the part I really didn't know is when you restart, you do all this other stuff, and you've installed the new drivers, it probably still won't work. So what you have to do is go down here. I'm running Windows 7, but uh, I'm just going to type in Device Manager on my search. And I go up to Device Manager. You know, open it any way you can. I know it's in the control panel for some people, but on Windows 7, I think it's easier like that. And you're gonna see all these drivers right now. There's my computer, and sorry it's so blurry, guys. Um, but go all the way down to Wacom Virtual Hid Driver. Go down to that one, Wacom Virtual Hid Driver. Right click on it, go down, and you gotta disable it. Mine's enabled because I already did it. Uh, mine's disabled already. But right click and disable that. Don't delete it. Do not delete it. Do not uninstall it. You uh, disable it in case you want to use it later. You disable that. You close the window. You restart your computer. And uh, after you're done rest uh, you know, restarting your computer, you go back here and you should be able to fiddle with the options again. Let me go to that right now. If you go to the drop down menu, you go to brush options, you should be able to fiddle with this right here, the diameter and the, uh, you know, you can pressure, the diameter, you know, you should be able to fiddle with these options where before they were grayed out, you know, apply strokes, okay, and now you got this, you know, as you push down, there's this pressure sensitivity now. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I hope that helps anybody, but uh, I'll probably make a better video of this later. I just did this because I was so excited that I found the answer. All right, thanks, guys.